Hey guys! Today I'm coming to you with a video that was requested on my Instagram page and you guys wanted to know how to use Google Analytics to be more successful in business. Google Analytics is a super powerful tool that will give you answers to so many of your questions. You don't know where you should be spending your time. You don't know what's actually helping you sell. You don't know what you should even create for your audience because you're not really sure what they even want. Google Analytics answers all of this for you. But you've been petty and you haven't installed it yet and you haven't bothered to learn it if you actually do have it installed. So this video is going to be specifically to show you ways that you can use Google Analytics to step your game all the way up with your website and your sales. So there are three things that you want to pay attention to with your Google Analytics. The first thing is going to be your landing pages. Where are people actually landing when they come to your site? Are they landing on your homepage mostly? Are they landing on your blog post, a specific kind of blog post? Are they landing on your sales page? What is actually getting people to your site and what is the first thing that they see? What's the first interaction that most people have with your site? The next thing you want to look at is the bounce rate from those pages. Bounce rate is when someone comes to your site and leaves without ever clicking to another page. So for example, let's say that your number one landing page is a post about skincare, but the bounce rate is 98%. It could mean that people came to your site, read your post, thought it was great, and then left and never were enticed to do anything else. The key is though that you want to keep people on your site because the longer that you keep them on your site and the longer that it takes for them to bounce away, the more likely they are to sign up for your email list and to purchase in the future. So engaging people in that first interaction, catching their eye, enticing them to learn more about you, click your about page, click your contact page, read more blog posts is going to help you in the long run. So you want to see what that landing page is, what are your top, you know, three to five landing pages where people are coming to and then what's the bounce rate on those pages and how can you make it more enticing for people to continue to click around. If you wanted to, you know, if you need some ideas, then one thing that you can do is add a related post section at the bottom. This catches me all the time. I'll go on a blog, I'll read a post, and then on the bottom, I'll see another post directly related to what I just read. And of course, I can't leave. Now I have to go read that other post. And then next thing you know, 30 minutes have passed by and I've done been on a rabbit hole down this person's site just consuming all of their content. That's what you want. That's the experience that you want to give people who come to your website. Let's say that you don't blog. Let's say that one of your top landing pages is a services page and you notice that it has a very high bounce rate. Guess what? That means that people are probably coming to your site. They're not enticed or excited about the content or the look and feel of your landing page. And then what are they doing? They're leaving to never hear or purchase from you again. So you really, really want to hone in on those two parts of your Google Analytics because it's really going to help you improve the first impression that you give your audience. The next thing that you want to pay attention to is your conversion rates. And a conversion rate is the amount of people that take a specific action that you want on your site. So I have multiple conversion rates. I have conversion rates for all of my products or services. I have a general conversion rate for my whole entire site. And then I also have a conversion rate for my email list. So depending on the amount of people that I drive to my site in a particular month or in a particular week, a certain number of them are going to sign up for my email list. So I'll give you an example. Let's say that 100 people come to my site today and 10 of them end up signing up for my email list. My conversion rate for the day would be 10%. If 10% is pretty consistent over the course of the week, then I know that if I want you know 100 people to sign up for my email list, then I'm going to have to send 1,000 people to my page based on my conversion rate, right? Because a thousand people is going to be the amount of people that I need in order to hit that goal of subscribers that I have based on the conversion rate. So your conversion rate is going to help you calculate and estimate the amount of people that you need to drive to a certain page in order to get a certain outcome. So if you're sitting there wondering, oh, oh my God, I have no idea what I'm going to make this month. You know, I don't know. Uh, 
you know, how many people end up buying, I don't know, you know, you don't know anything, sounds like, um, then the conversion rate is going to be very, very key in helping to answer some of those questions for you. The next thing that you're gonna wanna look at are your referrals. You're gonna wanna look at campaigns, source medium, or just your general referrals. Depending on how advanced you are with Google Analytics, it will depend how um, deep into the referrals you'll get. You can get as deep as you know a specific tweet that sent a specific amount of traffic to your site. But I'll do a whole nother video on UTM tagging in the future. But what you need to know is you need to find a way to track where all of your traffic is coming from, right? You need to look at your referral traffic. Are they coming from press pl placements, you know, media, interviews that you've done? Are they coming from social media? Are people finding you on Google? Are people finding you direct, right? Maybe you went to an event and spoke and talked about your website and people directly typed your website into the browser. You need to know how people are finding you and where people are coming from so that you can continue to exploit that social media, that media platform, right? So for me, I know that Instagram is my number one social media platform. Google is my number one referrer, period. Most people, 60% of my traffic comes from Google. So what do I do? I make sure that all of my blog posts are search engine optimized. I look at my landing pages to see when people do come from Google, what is the first thing they see and how can I give them a better experience? And when they come from Instagram, then I know, okay, how can I make it easy for them to find what they're looking for? Instead of just sending people to click the link in your bio and then sending them on a scavenger hunt across your site, think about creating a landing page, right? A page where, depending on the channel that people are coming from, you welcome them. Hey, thank you so much for coming to my site from Instagram. I'm so glad that you follow me on there. This is my website. Below you'll find the links that you might be looking for. And just list all the things, your products and services, popular blog posts. Just make it very easy for people to get what they need. Because if you give them a terrible user experience, if you don't make it easy, guess what's going to happen? They're going to bounce right off your page and then you'll never hear from them again. So you always want to be mindful of referral traffic as well because you want to be mindful of the platforms that people are coming from. I know, like I said, if people come from Google and Instagram, they probably don't really know me, right? They probably haven't interacted with me before if the first time that they found me was through a search engine. So I want to make sure that those pages that they're landing on are introducing me, have you know a very easy visible link to my about me page maybe even have a little blurb about me on that page because you want to add credibility to your site immediately same thing with instagram if somebody has been following me on instagram for a while and then they came to my site i want to thank them for connecting with me on social media they probably do know a little bit about me so i don't need to introduce that myself to them as much but you still want to make the experience good for them same thing, I know if you know a ton of traffic starts to come from YouTube, maybe I wanna greet people with a video on my site. If I know they just came from watching a video, why not give them another video so that they can quickly understand what's going on? You have to always be thinking strategically and you always have to put your customer first. The reason why many business owners don't make money is because they don't put their customer first. They launch products and services that they want, that they feel like you know they want to do but not necessarily what their audience needs so by looking at your top landing pages your top blog posts and things of that nature you're able to see what does my audience even care about you know what is my audience looking at what are they reading what are they spending the most time on and then you can create products and services based on that based on the information that they already told you that they care about if you're a fitness trainer and you have you know a virtual training course, you know, a virtual personal training course where you give people workouts, but your most popular blog post is about clean eating, then you're doing it wrong, right? Or if you're a blogger and one of your services is how to build a blog, but the most popular post on your site is about skincare, you're doing it wrong, right? If you are pushing forward a product or a service that people aren't necessarily interested in, you're wasting everyone's time and you're gonna frustrate yourself. So it's better to create around what your audience already wants instead of creating what you feel like they think they need. So always have those conversations on social media. 
always talk to your audience and pay attention to your analytics because they tell you a lot more than what you think meets the eye. I'll be back next week with more on this topic and I'm going to actually start a series to help you guys use your websites to build a better online business and make better strategic decisions. So stay tuned for that. As always, please subscribe to my channel. I publish videos every Wednesday. And if you want to catch conversations like this live, join me on Instagram Live on Mondays at 12 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you guys then.